Okay, this is the second video on this Toyota Recall. And I think Toyota isn't being 100% truthful on what's going on here. And the reason why I say that is what you're going to do on the procedure, you're going to remove each nut. Do it one at a time. Do not take all of them or loosen all of them at once. <clears throat> because those nuts are what holds the axle in. And you don't want to remove them all or your axle could shift a little. There's an O-ring that seals it. You don't want to damage that. But take off each nut one at a time. You're going to check the bottom of the nut. Make sure there's no damage to it. This one is fine. There's no indentations in it. And you're going to check this area where the nut seats against the the bracket here. So make sure that's smooth, that there's no welding slag. You can feel it. This one is perfectly fine. There's no welding slag or no welding spatter up under it. Now, where I think Toyota isn't being completely truthful is I think they got the torque spec wrong on these all the way around. I think what happened is Toyota spec these at too low of a torque spec. I have a paper that says 27 foot-pounds. So Toyota Mechanic says, note their manual says 33 foot-pounds. And the Toyota recall calls for 41 foot-pounds. That's three different numbers. So that's where I think the problem lies. I think Toyota got it wrong. Now, why Toyota doesn't call to put blue Loctite on them when you replace them, I don't know. Because these... Uh, these nuts screw right on and off. It's not like they're a lock nut. So what I would do, I would take some blue Loctite, put blue Loctite on it when I reinstall the nut. That will help against any road vibrations and such to keep the nut from working loose. Also, when you re-torque it, you're going to torque it down to the 41 foot-pounds under the Toyota recall notice. So let me get my torque wrench here. It's a 14 millimeter nut. It's a socket you need for it. And let me get the socket worked onto the nut. There's not much room under here be better to have this up in the air but trying to keep this so you can see what you're going to do you're going to go for 41 foot pounds we're set at 41 foot pounds That's at 40.5. That's 41. Actually, 40.8. That's close enough. But that's what you're going to do. You're going to do that with each nut. Now, if I find one that has any slag on it, I'll make another video showing you what the slag looks like. And what Toyota says to do with that, just take a file and you file down the, the, uh, the welding splatter or the slag. That's all you're doing. But I'll check the others. If I find one with one, I'll make another video.